Yes, what a beautiful studio. Oh, we're excited, thank uh, you. They told me they didn't have money for nice studios. <laughs> I love being in this building with you. you it's were, a great building. I have to say this. You were the very first person when we announced that we were coming to New York. He sent me a like handwritten card like yeah. saying, welcome to 30 Rock. I'll show you around the commissary, which, by the way, has really good food. It's an excellent commissary. Yes. That was the first thing I was like, going to tell you. When you said it in a card and you brought it, food, I was like, I don't know. Yeah. Because like a cafeteria can, it can be suspect. It can be the, I started here in yeah. 2001, and uh, the cafeteria in 2001 was a dump. OK, OK. I came at they the right time. They rebuilt the commissary. Yeah. And I, I take it to the streets. I brag oh about God, it everywhere it's I go. So, it's so good. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. really great. I love being. You do building. have to pay for the food. I've heard about you at previous places <laughs> that you. There's an I assumption because you're Kelly Clarkson, yes. you can just take the food yes. and walk right out. But I well, do I'm need you to stop. Well, I'm here now, Thirty Rock, so I'm just I love <laughs> okay. free food. <laughs> no, I love the building. But um, I, I know that you have a crazy story with your your doorman. Yeah. First of all, uh, it's so exciting to be in a room with all these New York City doormen. <laughs> Day. Yeah, but These I will say, because you're all here, I walk to the building, there are so many unsigned for packages outside. <laughs> it's, Buildings it's right ridiculous. now, just littering the streets. <laughs> yeah, so my, uh, yeah, I think I have the best uh, uh, doorman uh, story you in do. New York City, which is my wife, uh, we were on our way to deliver. She was gonna deliver. You were we gonna decided. Do it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, she was pregnant with our second, and it was, uh, her water broke, and we went out uh, to the Uber, and, and we walked right back inside because she said it's happening right now. And so uh, she gave birth in our very, we have a very small lobby. When I say lobby, I think people picture think something a lot bigger. It yeah. is not grand. And um, my wife fully gave birth in our lobby, and we had two doormen on that day. Yeah. And I would say one of them rose to the occasion, and the other one sort of sunk to the floor. The other one's like, like the Homer Simpson gif, you know, yeah, like backing he, into I do the bush. Very uh, quietly, sort of became part yeah. of the wallpaper. Um, uh, but it's great. It, he's now sort of just, uh, you know, our, our middle son, uh, Axel. He's yeah. just part of the building now. Everybody, yeah. everybody loves Lobby Baby. I think yeah. that's what you don't, as Lobby Baby. Yeah. I know. I love that it's Lobby Baby. We so, call him Lobby do Baby. Do your kids know this now that they're yes. older? Do they know? So we got three. Yeah. Yes. Oh my By God. the way, so in cute. case you're wondering which is the kid uh, that was born in the lobby, it's the one with a box on his head. So <laughs> it, it is having long-lasting effects. Um, yeah, he kn they know he's lobby, and it's really, I feel for my seven-year-old because they'll go out, and I'll be in the park, and people will come up, and they'll say, which one is lobby baby? And the older one says, he's lobby baby, I'm hospital baby. Oh. And I don't have the heart it's to tell to them, special. nobody yeah. cares. <laughs> no. Hospital baby is the most Generic. common of all the babies. <laughs> But Don't then we have that. our third one, a bathtub baby. Did you know that? No. Yeah, not by accident. It wasn't like my wife was in a bath and you was like, oh boy. You were just trying to make all no. your kids feel special. Yes. She, uh, yeah, we had a home birth. We had a planned home birth. Oh, and, you uh, planned it? Well, uh, the doorman planned it. They said, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> They you said, we have come up with a plan for you. When you have a baby, don't come down here again. Oh, my God. Your wife is like a Viking. Like, yeah, my having wife babies is a everywhere. I'm like, what? Yeah, she's basically going through the city. She wants to do uh, Staten Island Ferry next. We're really okay. excited. OK, OK. Yeah. got a lot of kids in that house. We're going to have a lot of kids, yeah. No you time anymore. I'm excited to experience Halloween here, because I have kids as well. Yeah. So what is trick-or-treating like? Do your kids have costumes already? Yeah, so the five-year-old always picks right away. He usually picks, like, November 3rd of the previous year. And he's going to be a gecko from this. Uh, oh, PJ animated show, PJ Masks. Yeah. So he's a gecko. Uh, the older one, he can't make a decision. He's currently a wasp, but, but it's too early. That'll change. And then like we the wasp, the superhero, or just, just the wasp? Just like a wasp. A wasp. Yeah. Got it. He's, uh, he's like, I just want to be a, a mediocre wasp. I just average um, ones. And then, uh, and then the baby, we're going to put the baby in the same lamb costume that the, the kids have worn. Oh, you've had just, one that's passed down? We just have, yeah. We, and, and it's good. Uh, there you go. Those Aww. are the lambs. Those are when the boys were younger. That's cute. Yeah. When they were sweet. <laughs> like, like, yeah. like, when they were younger. I was. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, your face. I miss like, those yeah. two. Remember when they liked yeah. me? Um, now they're walking around being like, I want to be a wasp. <laughs> yeah. So wait, this is your 10th anniversary? Uh, we had our 10th anniversary on September 1st, yeah. Wow. Pretty exciting. That's, I mean, That's great. yeah. Yeah. Statistics are against you. Just Statistics saying. Statistics are against you. Against they say you. for uh, for families who have a child in the lobby, they almost never make it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All 
Or maybe that's the key. You <laughs> can do anything key, yeah. together anywhere. Have a baby in the lobby. If you I can love do that. that. You do you have a secret? Is it like I don't, we do not have just a, a good listener? Or you uh, both are... No, I think we just we fit well together. We okay. have uh, we have very complementary uh, skills. That and must talents. have been my problem. Okay, so your <laughs> <laughs> so your your podcast. You have it with your brother, right? Yeah, we have a podcast called yeah. Family Trips of the Myers Brothers, and it's me and my brother. We talk to celebrities and interesting people about yeah. the trips they took as kids, and almost no. Oh, there we are as kids. Look at us. Like when we oh never wore seatbelts. Yes. Yeah. Nobody. Nope. It's amazing yeah. how many of us live to tell the tale. I know. I mean, in the 70s, it was just so many kids just sliding around in the back of station wagons. Yeah, or they'd put one of the kids up in the, like, window shield yeah. part, like in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a lot of, you talk to people and they're like, yeah, our parents would put, like, a card table in the back of the station wagon. We'd play poker for yeah. eight hours. Like, you can't believe how little. I, I rode in the back of the truck, like the pickup truck. <laughs> exactly. Now it's, like, illegal, but I was, like, no it was the greatest belts. thing ever. So it's very yeah. happy to say everybody survived and they have yeah. good stories about being I kids. love the podcast with your brother, though. That's so cool. It's I really love my. Fun. Sister so much that would be so much fun to do with it's her. It's nice. You need a reason to talk to your siblings one hour a week, I and that's what we found. Yeah. Well, my sister and I talk to each other a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but um, any memorable trips with your kids? Um, the, the most memorable is do they we, wear seatbelts now? They, we, they do. They wear <laughs> we double seatbelts. Uh, mm -hmm. We took our kids to Uruguay. My wife has like oh. very grand ideas of what we can accomplish with young kids. Yeah. And uh, Uruguay, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. But our flight got delayed, and so it was supposed to be 12 hours. It was 24. And oh. I was the most tired I've ever been. And at one point, Axel was two, and I had his stroller, and I looked down, and he wasn't there. And I said to Alexi, uh, I don't know where Axel is. And she said, you're holding him in your arms. Oh, and I was no. so tired that I looked down, and I was like, well, he's gone forever. <laughs> You know what? People don't get that. Like, you get a yeah. certain level of tired that you literally, yeah. it's like, you know, I guess normal people without kids, it's when your sunglasses are on your head, but like, yeah. you know, it's more important because it's a human. Um, but yeah. She, <laughs> Alexi said the most damning thing wasn't that I didn't know he was there, but when she said, oh, he's not lost forever, you're holding him, my reaction was like, okay. <laughs> like, I, I wasn't even like, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, you like, he's fine. I was fine. like, oh, all right. I kind of like the idea that he was just lost. <laughs> <laughs> Seb did another podcast over the strike with other late night hosts, which I thought was brilliant. Yeah, it was so, 12 episodes. I we were it. all, we had a lot of free time on our hands. Yeah. Strike but I thought it was five. really cool too, because a lot of people in this industry every that pits us against each other. And I thought it was really cool too that everybody was together doing something. It was something. super nice. There have yeah. been different eras of late night where the host didn't get along as well yeah. as we do now. But and you're it was also a, it different. was for a good cause. Yeah. You know, we were raising money uh, to help out our staffs during the writer's strike. Yeah. And yeah, we are, you know, I, I obviously Very we have different. a lot of uh, similarities, but the longer we did the podcast, I think we found our different uh, lanes. And oh, it was gosh, a, a, yeah. It was, a, it was a dream. It was really nice. Yeah. I thought it was a really cool idea as well. Yeah, yeah I, I credit to Jimmy Kimmel who had the idea for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I love him, yeah. <laughs> Let's do another break. Late Night with Seth Meyers airs weeknights at 12.35 a.m. on NBC and streams on Peacock, everybody. And don't miss Seth's podcast. It's called Family Trips with the Myers Brothers. It's available wherever you get your podcasts. We will be right back.